okay so welcome back to this course so in our previous video we have successfully set up our uh, store right and now in this video first of all let's start our reducer so in this video i'm going to create my uh, all products reducer and then in my next video i will create the all products action and then we will uh, pull the data uh, save data in the state and then we will pull the data from the state and display that products data on our home page all right so first of all we have to create the reducer then the action and then we have to pull the data from the state so first of all what i do is i simply in my src folder create here a new folder that is called the reducers okay so now in this reducer folder i'm going to create my first reducer that is called the products reducer so product reducers all the reducers related to the product will be present in this file so product reducers and let's first of all type here export const and let's type here the products products reducer okay and the product reducer will contain the state all right and in the state i'm going to put here the products so products is going to be an empty array at start all right or that is okay so now first of all you have to pass in the state and the state will contain the products that will be an empty array at the start all right it can be empty also but i want to put in here products that will be an empty array and then let's put in here the action all right so in this first of all i have to type here the switch statement so switch and then in the switch i have to pass the condition so i will type here action dot type all right and now in this switch statement we have to pass in different cases so first of all the default case will be we have simply return the state whatever in the state we will return it in the default case and uh, for our first case i simply type here case and the case oh we also have to create our constants so what i do is i simply first of all make this one and go to my src folder create here a new folder that is called the constants all right and the constants i create my first file here that is called the product constants okay so product constants dot js all right so first of all let's type here export default okay and then i have to type here the um, basically name so i simply type here all oops products request okay that will be equal to the all product request like this and then let's copy paste a couple of times so this request is going to be now oh, not this one that is going to be success and then the fail if the all products fail okay and then let's also type in here the uh, clear errors okay so after displaying the error we have also have to clear the errors so in that case we will use the clear errors so if, so we have basically here the three constants uh, all products request all products success and then all products fail so in first of all we send the all products request we will dispatch it so it will set loading to true okay and then if the if we successfully get our data from the backend then this will be dispatched all products success and if this if there is some error then all products fail will be dispatched okay so simply save it and now i simply go back here and let's import one 
so import and we have to import from dollar slash the constants the constants slash the products constants and first of all let's bring in the all products request all products success and then all products fail like this okay and let's bring them to the new line like this okay so for, first of all the case is going to be case that will be all product request okay so in the case request i'm going to simply return from here with the loading to true okay and then also let's set the products to an empty array okay so we'll first so first of all i'm going to dispatch this all products request that will basically send loading to true that we are loading and then set the products to an empty array okay so this is for all products request and let's copy this case for the uh, here so all products success so if we successfully get our products on our back end we simply have to set loading to false because now we have successfully fetched our products from the back end so select loading to false and the products i will simply type here the action dot payload action dot payload dot products okay so we will pass in uh, these products from our action from our product actions and we are going to set the products in the state to action dot payload dot products okay and uh, i think so if i go with my back end i want to confirm one thing from the product controller uh let me go to top we are sending the uh, let's remove this one we don't need it products count and then the products okay so let's also handle this uh products count okay that will be action dot payload dot products count okay so now we have in the success case we are setting the products and the products count and now if there is some error the all products become fails so case all products fail in that case we simply have to return and i simply type here loading to false okay and I let's set the error to the action dot payload whatever we pass in the from there will be in the error and we will display that error okay and we have our fourth case also that is the clear errors so what i do is i simply pass type here case the clear errors okay i think so we need to bring in okay so I simply copy it and put it here okay and in the clear errors we simply have to return from the from here and we simply have to spread the dollar state that whatever in the state okay and then we simply have to set the error to null okay so the purpose is to just clear the error and make the error to null simply save it and that's it we are set up with our products reducer we have simply set up the four cases so in the all products request we are setting the loading to true and products to an empty array and the success we are setting the products and products count and the fail we are setting up the error so just we have created the constants and the reducer in my next video i want to create the product actions in which i am going to add my first action and also if we have to go to the store.js to add this reducer if i go to the store.js and in that we simply have to add the reducer in here so what i do is i simply import from the dot slash reducers slash the product reducer 
and we have to bring in the products reducer okay so products reducer and now in here I simply type in here products that will be products reducer okay so now if I simply save it so that is product reducers all right so that is products reducer So let's save it and now we have error here that says oh that is bonds sorry what I'm doing uh, the silly mistakes so that is bonds like this sorry for that now I simply save it and now state is not defined so I check it here so state equals to this and then the oh oh action is missing here oh sorry bracket is missing here it's, we don't have to put it here we have to add the bracket right here okay so we have completed our product reducer uh, products reducer so in my next video I will create the get products action in which I'm going to send the request to the backend and get all the products in the backend okay so I will see you in the next video